Hello. My name is Humphrey Solomon Jr. Welcome to my channel. Our today's video presentation is about writing a rational expression as a sum of a polynomial and partial fractions. I will again discuss some helpful tips on how to use Casio ClassWiz calculator to help us solve for the partial fractions faster and easier. Before we continue, please watch my other tutorials about partial fraction decomposition and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Now, let's write the following rational expression as a sum of a polynomial and partial fractions, the quantity 2x raised to 4, plus x cubed, minus 10x squared, minus 4x, plus 15, over the quantity, x cubed, minus x squared, minus 2x, plus 2. You can observe that the degree of the numerator is bigger than the degree of the denominator. So, we need to divide the numerator by the denominator first. We can use long division or synthetic division here. We will divide the first term inside, by the first term outside, to get, 2x. And then, we will multiply all the terms outside by 2x, to get, 2x raised to 4, minus 2x cubed, minus 4x squared, plus 4x. Now we will subtract, to do that, we need to change the signs and then perform addition. We will get 3x cubed minus 6x squared minus 8x plus 15. We need to repeat the process again and divide 3x cubed by x cubed to get 3. And then we will multiply all the terms outside by 3 to get 3x cubed minus 3x squared minus 6x plus 6. Now we will subtract, to do that, we need to change the signs and then perform addition. We will get, negative 3x squared, minus 2x, plus 9. This is our remainder. We now have our polynomial and rational expression. But we are not yet done. We still need to find the partial fractions for the rational expression below. Our next move now is to write the denominator in factored form. So we will use the Casio ClassWiz calculator to help us find the factors for our denominator. We need to put the calculator in equation mode. And then select option 2, polynomial. Our denominator is in the third degree, so we will select 3 for the polynomial degree. We are now ready to input the numerical coefficients and the constant of our denominator. We can follow the string of keys here. And then, if we press the equals key for three times, we can see the three values of x. Notice that the third value of x is, x equals 1. This means x minus 1 is a factor. Take note that, the first two values of x are irrational numbers. The product of the factors from the irrational values of x, will give us a quadratic factor. And we can get this by synthetic division. We know that x equals 1. And in synthetic division, we only need the numerical coefficients and constant of the denominator. After we write the numerical coefficients and constant, we can now start by bringing down 1. After that, we can multiply 1 to 1, to get 1. And then, negative 1 plus 1, is 0. Next, 1 times 0 is, 0. And then, negative 2 plus 0 is, negative 2. Next, 1 times negative 2 is, negative 2. Finally, 2 plus negative 2, is 0. We don't have a remainder because we know that x is equals 1. And our quotient is, x squared minus 2. So, our denominator in factored form will be, the quantity x minus 1, times the quantity x squared minus 2. Now that we have written our denominator in factored form, we can write a partial fraction for each factor. Since, x squared minus 2 is a quadratic factor, we need to write its numerator as a polynomial in the first degree. This rule will always apply to quadratic factors in partial fraction decomposition. We will use the variables a, b and c, in the numerators, since we are still in the process of finding the partial fractions, and we don't know those values yet. After that, we will combine these partial fractions into a single rational expression. You can observe that, 
the rational expression we started with, and the single rational expression we got with A, B and C, have the same denominators. This will allow us to equate the numerator separately. And then, we can start simplifying our right side, by distributing A to the quantity X squared minus 2, and by multiplying the quantities B X plus C, and X minus 1. After that, we can group together the terms with X squared, the terms with X, and the constant terms. We can now get a system of linear equations from here. We will get our first equation by equating the coefficients of x squared from both sides. And then, we will equate the coefficients of x to get our second equation, and so as the constant terms to get our third equation. It would be better if we can write a zero as the coefficient of the missing terms in our system of linear equations. So that we don't miss it out in using our Casio ClassWiz calculator. We will need to put our calculator in equation mode again. Press the menu key and look for equation mode and then select by pressing the equals key. Next, we will select option 1, simultaneous equation. And then, we will input, 3, for 3 unknowns. We are now ready to input the numerical coefficients and constant for each equation. You can follow the string of keys for equation 1. Equation 2. And equation 3. By pressing the equals key, you can see the values of x, y, and z, consecutively. The value of x corresponds to the value of a, the value of y corresponds to the value of b, and the value of z corresponds to the value of c. We now have the values of a, b, and c, a equals negative 4, b equals 1, and c equals negative 1. Please make sure that you don't switch the values of a, b, and c, or else, your answer will be inaccurate. Our final answer, the sum of a polynomial and partial fractions is 2x plus 3, minus 4 over the quantity, x minus 1, plus the quantity x minus 1, over the quantity x squared minus 2. I hope this video helped you learn how to write a rational expression as a sum of a polynomial and partial fractions. This is only possible if the degree of the numerator is bigger than the degree of the denominator. You can also watch the other cases of partial fraction decomposition from my channel. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons below. Also, click the bell icon to get notified when I upload my next videos. Always remember, sharing is caring. Have a nice day. Hello.